In this video, we'll take a brief look at a classic communications microphone, the A-Static D104. The A-Static company was formed in 1933 to manufacture microphones. Two of the founders were radio amateurs, and their first product was the D104 microphone. Over the years, the company developed a number of microphones and expanded into other products like coaxial cables, meters, and antennas. The company is still in business. Introduced in 1933, the A-Static model D104 was designed for voice communications and used a crystal microphone element. The design was changed only slightly over the years. A solid-state amplifier was incorporated into the stand in the 1960s. Special editions included a U.S. bicentennial model in 1976. Production ended in the year 2001. The D104 is a microphone with a crystal element. Dynamic elements were also offered. It's intended for voice communications and not high fidelity applications like music. The UG8 is the stand. It's made from die cast zinc and finished in chrome. The base has a gray hammer tone finish. They refer to it as hammerlin finish. It has a coiled shielded cord. The microphone mounts on the UG8 stand and is removable via connector and screw. The stand incorporates a press-to-talk bar. A slide clamp can be slid up to lock the switch in the on position. The TUG8 model of stand includes a two-transistor solid-state amplifier circuit with adjustable gain and operated on a 9-volt battery. Battery life is estimated at about six months. A switch selects between two different modes for the press-to-talk switching function, referred to as electronic and relay modes. Relay mode connects two wires, and electronic mode grounds a wire. This is the tug 8 d 104 model, which includes the D104 microphone and the version of the UG8 stand with a transistorized amplifier circuit. I purchased it on eBay in 2016. It was in quite good shape when received. Someone's name or handle had been written on the base, I think with Letraset transfers. It came off with some fine steel wool. It has some corrosion, but is overall quite presentable looking. I had to rewire it to use a 2-pin Amphenol connector suitable for use with my Heathkit HW101 transceiver. The unit can be wired in different ways to accommodate different radios. It's documented in the manual and schematic. The D104 is a classic microphone that was made from the 1930s to 2000s. Thousands were made and it's still popular today, especially with users of vintage ham radio equipment.